Well, this particular report is saying, um, well, uh, more people, you know, you've got people dying in heat waves. Well, that's been going on for millennia. Um, but it doesn't mention that in a warming world, fewer people die of cold, and cold is a bigger killer than heat. Do you find that fundamentally dishonest? Of course it is. As I say, this is exploiting people's ignorance to promote fear and use it as a lever for God knows what they want to do. But why do so many scientists say global warming is a huge threat? A large number of scientists saying, yes, indeed, it's warming. And um, they might even add it perhaps as a matter of concern. Relatively few that I know of who even support the narrative would ever say that this is involving uh, an existential threat. Professor Linson, we are now facing calls from the UN and from our Greens Party and indeed parts of our Labor, ruling Labor Party. We face calls to kill our coal industry, stop using coal, gas and oil to stop this terrible, terrible warming. What do you think we should do about global warming? Nothing. You know, if you wanted to do something in terms of policy, I mean, remember, I think there is pretty universal agreement that if the whole Anglosphere and the European Union were to shut down completely, bury all industrial activity and people so that we don't generate CO2, that its impact on climate would be negligible. Because, you know, the rest of the world is going to continue and they are now dominating emissions. So no matter what you believe about climate, our actions will do nothing about climate. If you truly believed that it was an existential threat, then the only thing you could do is build up your resilience. And building up your resilience means making more, having people wealthier. Because we see throughout the whole world, if you are a poor country, if you're not resilient, natural disasters cause immense damage, pain, suffering, and so on. In the developed world, similar disasters cause much less damage. So your aim would be resilience. Instead, we're choosing to make ourselves less resilient. And that makes no sense at all, no matter what you believe. In point of fact, I don't think there's any threat on the horizon and the best thing to do is to make society wealthier. Richard Linson, you've been saying this uh, a long time, and uh, if we all live long enough, uh, I think you'll be uh, proved absolutely correct. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you.